Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe here today. I want to talk to you about putting your phones on a timer as you saw at the beginning of this video. So basically, I was having a problem with swelling batteries before I did this and I noticed another phone battery actually starting to pop out the screen on one of my devices. So I thought, oh, that battery is going to start swelling. So I needed to figure out a solution to stop swelling batteries and the timer on all of the money making devices has been my solution uh, thus far for a few months and it's working quite well. Before I made a video about combating swelling batteries or replacing the batteries of some of your track phone androids and while that is a cool idea it costs money and not all phones have swappable batteries at least easily swappable batteries like iPhones it, it'll take you a little bit and if you're not good at it you may break the phone or break the screen and yeah so that's it's just not the best solution number one it costs money that's the biggest thing here so I tried putting my devices on a timer and that is definitely a natural solution to this obvious problem because before my phones would be plugged in for months on end just never leaving the charger and that's just that's just not natural for a cell phone I mean not normal people don't really do that so this timer right here I'll leave a link in the description if you want to buy it it's a really nice timer it wasn't that much money it was like 15 bucks you can pick it up on Amazon link in the description basically it's on or excuse me, it's off for about four hours a day or, th or three hours a day, actually. That's how I have it programmed. So it shuts off at 4.30 a.m. and then turns back on at 6 a.m. in the morning. And then at night, it shuts off at about 6.30 and then it turns back on at 8 p.m. So three hours, one hour, 30 minute chunks, one in the morning, one at night. Now, I was thinking of a more elaborate system. I could have like three timers, and this is just food for thought and possibly how you may want to set up your system so it's smarter. The longest lasting batteries, like some of the track phones last forever on their own. Like they could last a day doing stuff on their own for making money. And then medium, medium range batteries, you know, other Androids, and then really short range batteries. I noticed my iPhone 4 is absolutely terrible, but that could be the age as, as well. So you could have three timers, one for the long range batteries, one for the short range batteries, and then one for the medium range batteries to uh, have like one be off for four hours, one be off for two, and one be off for 30 minutes, if you get what I'm saying there. I understand that phone batteries wear out naturally, so yeah, you maybe want to replace them, but by the time you'd have that problem where it like can't even sustain itself for a few minutes, then I think it's time for a new device or to upgrade your uh, your device to a newer version. So I think this is definitely my go-to solution. Another unexpected benefit to putting your phones on a timer, and this is weird, it may be just me, was actually dealing with VNC, and you're thinking, what does VNC have anything to do with putting your phones on a timer? If you don't know what that is, I'll leave an annotation on the screen to go watch a video about controlling your money-making devices from anywhere but basically it kind of gives the devices a kick when they're not working on with VNC uh, some of the devices sometimes glitch out it happens and I do have scheduled reboots to fix that however when you when you plugged it in it's like the phone being unplugged and plugged back in or the timer shutting off and turning back on again would fix the VNC connection or allow me to connect to the phone again so very strange but cool so yeah, that this is my solution, putting my phones on a timer. Highly recommend you do it. And it just kind of gives you that feeling that your uh, your devices, your, your money-making setup is a little bit smarter than it was before you put the timer on it. So anyway, I hope that tip is helpful for you guys. And actually this Friday, I'm going to be doing a room tour so I can show you around this room where the money-making happens. But in the meantime, if you have any questions, you can send me an email, as you guys know. I try to respond as quick as I can. Twitter, Facebook, get me on the forum, post your question in the Facebook group. But in the meantime, have fun making money and i'll talk to you guys later to what i'm creating my new naming system to be for all my money making devices this is phone number four so once you've changed the name to whatever you want it to be exit make sure you save build up prop and then go ahead and reboot your device